<laughs> you look like the Mies when he's trying to reach up for something. Is that like the, what the Mies does? I don't want to put my sneakers on the couch, you know? My ah, shoes. that's smart. So like... <laughs> you want to go outside? Yup. Drum solo. Drum solo. Yeah, boy. Good morning, DLV. How's everybody doing? What's kicking chickens? A, that was a good kick, and B, I just realized that you're wearing that Cortez shirt that I got for you. <laughs> Spring break 015. Spring break 015. Oh, let's get my car. So, um, I have nothing to say. <laughs> I'm passing it over to Lindsay. We've got a not so big day planned. I'm not really sure what the plans include other than working out because we're getting swole. Maybe that's the big part of this day. Whew, whew. Yeah. We're gonna make it great. Just because it's one of those Mondays where we're all bleh, doesn't mean we're not gonna be all woo by the end of it. You know, you feel me? Okay. Mr. King says, guys, you really should come over here. Things, things smell really good right here. Look at this, look at this stuff. Ah, it's so good. <laughs> I love being Mr. King. I love trying to figure out what's going on in that little brain of his. I think you guys have the same size brain. That's why it works so well. Yeah, probably. That's not offensive <laughs> at all, babe. <laughs> Kidding. So this little auto shop that we walk by every day has uh, just has a DeLorean sitting out. Huh. Interesting. I weirdly feel fantastic today. I think it's because I've been cutting down on some of the junkier foods, eating healthier, and running around. <sighs> I feel good. Don't you feel good, even though it's a gloomy day? Yeah, totally. I feel great. You look great, mostly in the butt area. Hey. Uh, and face. And face. That's an aw That's awful. You look great in your butt area and <laughs> kind of your face, but mostly your butt. That was pretty much the first thing I ever said to you, and it won you over then. Really? <laughs> no. No. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure the first thing you ever said was like, how's the show? And I was like, I'm so proud of you. Yeah, it was a very awkward first encounter. So, uh, what did you think of the show? Was, was the show good? Like us first dating. Oh, that was it. oh yeah, yeah it was, I'm, I'm very proud of you. I sounded like your mom. That's what Lindsay said. She says, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> I was like, sheesh. Well, I've known you for so long. Probably the first thing you said to me was like, hey, what bus you take? Like, <laughs> in middle school. Hey girl, what bus you take? <laughs> uh. And I was like, well, I'm waiting for my dad. And you're like, well, I'm waiting for the boys club. And then that, that there's our whole first conversations, multiple first conversations. I should, have said, I should have said something cooler like, I've been waiting for somebody like you my entire life. And I'm 12, so it's not very long. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm 12. <laughs> anyway, let's continue the awkwardness that is our relationship with the rest of this day. Woo, you look great, mostly in your butt. Thank you. We made a trip to Bed Bath & Beyond. So quick, everybody, put your hats on that keep you from turning into a real adult. <laughs> Babe. Danny. See, if you wear one of these the whole time while you shop at Bed Bath & Beyond, you can keep all the adult thoughts out so you can stay a kid forever. <laughs> I have adult you thoughts. One? All I can think about is people putting their apples in there and having to eat and just be like, is it a hair? <laughs> Do you oh, want one? No, I'm all set, thank you. We can get you a strainer. Yeah, no, no, all set. Okay, all right. Well, I'm, I'm the one who's staying a kid around here. Good news. I found something else to keep myself from growing up. It's Elsa hair and hat. Ooh, Elsa, woo! <laughs> Babe, don't leave me. Hey, can you keep the ruckus down over there, <laughs> you young little kids? <laughs> Mm, I think I need this for sure. My blonde hair running down my back. It's perfect. <laughs> Babe, what are you doing? I can't tell if this is ridiculously irresponsible or smart. They set up these basketball hoops so that you can shoot these little single serving cereals. Let's little kids destroy the grocery store. And oh, you're really bad. Oh, there we go. Oh, still not very good. He's against the clock. <laughs> that's, what that's what I'm talking about. I feel like that's not my fault. Yay! <laughs> I got one. <laughs> Let's see what else we can shoot. Don't, hey! <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> 
<laughs> not the ice cream. Not the ice cream. Yeah. Mm. Let's see what else we can shoot. Don't. Hey. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> not the ice cream. Not the ice cream. Yeah. Mm. Danny went on a late night walk with my family to walk Mr. King and the other dogs in the neighborhood. And I took this time to get some salmon set up with some cilantro lime rice. Stop it, that looks amazing. So I'm gonna actually set the table and we're gonna have a meal together at the table like grown adults. <laughs> okay, we're all set up. He just needs to come home. Check out how good this looks. Yummy salmon, a little bit of extra lime and some cilantro lime rice. That's Danny's. My rice gets a little butter on it. I'm healthy, but I also enjoy butter, so we're gonna have the best of both worlds. <laughs> All right, now he just needs to get back, and we'll surprise him with a set meal. Yay! Oh, look at us sit down dinnering like real people in the world. <laughs> this is amazing. I love this. Okay, tell me how it is. <laughs> it's amazing. It's like impossible to mess up salmon. Yeah. <laughs> so good. What you doing? to have filled a fill. Woo! I'm sleeping on the couch. We got a new blanket for our bed. And it's going in our bed. And so it's not it's... going on our bed. It's going on my body on the couch. Uh... Why, why, just because we got a new blanket, why do we sleep on the couch again? I don't know, because it's right here. I opened it and I got really excited. So, I'm just gonna <sighs> stay here tonight. Sorry, babe. All right, well, if you get the couch and the blanket, I get the knees. No, no, not, not fair. Not fair. You have choices. Say something. Me? <laughs> Look who's winning now. I got the meese and the blanket and I'm on the couch. I'm not, a, I'm not sure I want to sleep on the couch. I really like the bed where I can lay, lay my legs out and, and snuggle both of you. Have I showed you guys this alarm clock, by the way? I want you to see this. It's one of these old school dual bell, I don't, I don't know what they're called, just old school alarm clocks. Listen to the power of this thing. It's like the worst ever. All right, all right, I'm done. Oh my God. Oh my God, make it stop. Ah. Uh, make it stop. I tried to set that the other day to wake up and it, it was the most stressful morning of my life. It, it didn't even wake me up. It just scared me. I, I was gasping for air, like, oh, I'm not dying, okay. And then I just went back to bed. <laughs> I don't think I told you guys this, but from that vlog where I opened up, where I was exercising in like a neon green kind of get up, I am so sore from that day and doing all that hopping around, I'm hobbling around like an old man. Like worse than when my toe was broken. Which by the way, update, update on that. I think it's like 99%, 98% healed. It feels awesome right now. And I'm hopping around, it's so good. But now I'm back to limping because of my calves. They're so tender right now. Did you do my Diplo workout? Is that how you got so sore? That's how I got so sore no, originally. I, no, I didn't do a dip. What, what, the, what is a Diplo workout? It's like uh, basically like twerking. Mostly it's like going like this. Over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get to bed and try out this comforter. Oh, someone's getting a head start, I see. Well, all right. We'll just say goodnight over here while you test it out and let us know. No, he loves it. As always, thank you guys. What is that? Nothing. Is that a little reason? Can I have a The worst. Uh -huh. As always, thank you guys so much for watching the vlogs. I really do appreciate that. As always, Reese's t As always, never share. That's Lindsay's motto today. Mm -hmm. Never share. As always, Reese's taste better when they're shaped like something, like an egg or a Christmas tree or a heart. Or a black heart, like you have from that mm. share. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh. <laughs>